and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here today. For today's lesson, I want to take a look at some phrasal verbs, specifically expressions with the word break. So I've chosen six different phrasal verbs that use the word break and we're going to take a look at some definitions and some examples. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one here says break down and I've chosen three different definitions for it. Okay, so the first one here says to stop working. And for example, a machine. Okay, if my car breaks down, that means my car has stopped working, right? I cannot use it. Same thing if my TV breaks down or my computer breaks down or my microwave breaks down, that means they have stopped working, so I cannot use them. Okay, just be careful though, when we use break down, it's usually only electronic things or machines, right? So you would not say, my couch broke down, right? If there's a hole in your couch, you're not gonna say that. So it needs to be things that we use that are machines, okay? Second definition says, to have a physical or mental collapse. Okay, so this is talking about a person. If a person is physically breaking down, that means their body is stopping working, right? So it's not working very well. So usually as people get older, their bodies break down. Also, their minds begin to break down, right? Okay, another way could be, imagine I have a lot of stress at work, right? And I can't sleep, I'm not eating properly, so I could say I'm starting to break down because of stress or because of being overworked. So that would be another way to use it. Okay, and third definition says to separate into parts. Okay, if I go to a restaurant with friends and I order, you know, we order a bunch of food, we order some drinks, after the waiter brings us the bill, now we want to break the bill down into different parts, right? how much money I will pay, how much money she will pay, he will pay. So we're gonna break the bill down into parts. So it just means to separate something into different parts. Okay, let's look at another one. It says break up and the definition is to end a romantic relationship. Okay, so if my girlfriend and I break up, this means we stop dating, right? We are not a couple anymore. Same thing, if a married couple breaks up, this means maybe they will get a divorce, right? Okay, you'll notice I've put romantic in brackets because it's not only romantic relationships. Imagine a musical band breaks up. That means they stop making music together, right? Many years ago, the Beatles, I think everybody knows the Beatles, the Beatles broke up. Right? So this means they stopped being a band, they stopped making music together, and they made music by themselves, not as a group. So they broke up. Okay, next one there says break in, and I've got two definitions for this one. So the first one says to enter somewhere by force. Okay, so if I'm talking about my house or my apartment, and I say someone broke in, this means somebody entered my apartment and they tried to steal something. Probably they tried to steal money or jewelry or something like that, right? So again, if somebody breaks in, it means it's usually a bad guy, like a criminal, broke in, right? So they're trying to steal something probably from my house. Okay, second definition, to begin using or wearing something until it becomes comfortable. Okay, this is a common expression. The best example is shoes. So when you buy new shoes, usually the first couple days or first couple weeks, the shoes are very uncomfortable, right? But after you wear them a few times, then they are comfortable. So you usually have to break in new shoes. Okay, another good example would be jeans. The first time you wear a new pair of jeans, they feel stiff, they're really uncomfortable, but after you break them in, right, after you wear them a few times, maybe wash them once or twice, 
then they are more comfortable. They are less stiff. Okay, it could also be used for an object that is not clothing. For example, usually with a new car, you have to break in a new car, right? Usually in the first couple weeks, you shouldn't drive a new car really, really fast because you have to break in the engine. Okay, so that's another example with break in. Okay, next one it says break off. And again, I've got two definitions. So the first definition says to suddenly stop or discontinue. Okay, imagine I'm at a party and I'm talking with friends and then my phone rings. So I will break off conversation with my friends to answer my phone, right? As it says there, it's usually suddenly, right? So if you break off conversation, it means you suddenly stop the conversation. And again, maybe it's to answer your phone or maybe you have to use the washroom or there could be many reasons. But anyways, it means to suddenly stop something. Okay, second definition says to sever or become separated. Remember, sever is like this, right? Okay, so for example, if I have a piece of chocolate and I want to give a piece of chocolate to my friend, I will break off a piece of chocolate and give it to my friend. Same thing if I have some bread, I might break off a piece of bread and eat it. So break off is any time that we break something in half, right? Okay, we got two more to go. Next one there says break out. And again, there's two definitions. So the first one says to escape. Okay, think about a jail or a prison. If a prisoner, right, a prisoner is a person in jail. If a prisoner breaks out of jail, this means they escape from jail. So that, that is usually how this word is used, to break out of jail, right? To break out of prison. So to escape prison, okay? You could also escape from a country. So you could say to break out of a country, right? Okay, second definition says to spread quickly, okay? And this is usually something negative, like a virus or a disease, right? So if a disease spreads quickly, right, we can say, the disease broke out. Same thing if I'm talking about, say, Ebola. Ebola broke out in West Africa. This means Ebola spread quickly through West Africa. So again, if something spreads quickly, right, if something breaks out, it's usually something negative. We wouldn't say a good thing broke out, right? Usually not. It's usually negative things. Okay, and last one, we can see here break into. Again, there's two definitions. So the first one says to enter somewhere by force. Okay, you may recognize this definition. If we go up to break in, we have the same definition. Okay, but there is a small difference. Okay, with this one, I don't need an object. Okay, remember before I said someone broke in. But if I have break into, I cannot say someone broke into. I must use an object. So I have to say someone broke into my apartment or someone broke into the building. But up here, I don't need an object when I use break in. But again, break into must take an object. Okay, we got one more definition. It says to be admitted into or allowed to enter a profession or a business. Okay, a good example would be breaking into Hollywood. So of course, many actors and actors want to enter Hollywood, but they can't. It's very difficult. Very few people get to break into Hollywood. So again, it says there, to be allowed to enter. So not everybody is allowed to enter Hollywood. It's very competitive, right? Okay, it also says a profession. So think about if I wanna be a lawyer or a doctor. Not everybody can become a lawyer or a doctor. So you need to break into the law profession or break into the medical profession, right? So again, you have to be admitted or allowed to enter those professions. Okay, I'm gonna erase the whiteboard and I wanna take a look at some written examples 
using each of these phrasal verbs. All right then, so let's see if we can take a look at some of these examples. So the first one here says, my car broke down on the way to work. Okay, so again, that just means my car stopped working on the way to the office. Okay, next one. His body was breaking down after working too hard. So we can see there, his body is getting worse. It's getting weak after working too hard, right? Or after working too much. Okay, next one. Let's break down this table before we move it. Okay, so imagine you're moving a big table. It's too big to move. So you're gonna break it down, right? You're gonna take the pieces off and break it down. Okay, good, next one. Chris broke up with his girlfriend last week. Okay, so again, Chris separated, right? He stopped dating his girlfriend last week. Okay, next one. A man wearing black clothing broke in last night, right? So that means somebody entered my house by force and maybe they broke a window and they stole some money or something like that. Okay, next one. It took three weeks to break in my new shoes. So again, remember, new shoes are usually uncomfortable the first few times you wear them, so it might take a few weeks or a few days to break in your new shoes, right? Okay, next one. After I found out he lied to me, I broke off all relations for him. So again, I stopped all relations, right? I suddenly stopped all relations with him, right? I ended all relations, okay, good. Next one, she broke off a piece of her sandwich and gave it to her friend. So she broke off a piece of sandwich and gave it to her friend, okay? Next one, the killer broke out of jail yesterday. So the killer escaped from jail yesterday, right? Fled from jail. Okay, a couple more. Ebola broke out in West Africa in 2014. So Ebola quickly spread in West Africa in 2014. Okay, and last one, Tom Cruise broke into Hollywood in the early 1980s, right? And if anybody remembers Top Gun, then we can definitely say that he broke in in the 80s. Okay, that is the end of today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you come back again next time. Have a nice day.